ओके क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड एंड वी विल गो थ्रू हाइड्रोकार्बन एज वी ऑल नो दैट हाइड्रोकार्बन आर मेड अप ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एंड कार्बन ऑनली दैट मीन्स इन हाइड्रोकार्बन नो अदर एलिमेंट इज प्रेजेंट कार्बन हैज ए स्पेशल एफिनिटी टुवर्ड्स हाइड्रोजन एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नेचुरल सोर्स ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन इज पेट्रोलियम दैट इज क्रूड ऑयल विच ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम अंडरग्राउंड ऑयल डिपोजिट्स एंड ऑल्सो नेचुरल गैस एक्चुअली वी नो इट वी हैव गॉट द आइडिया फॉर अबाउट हाइड्रोकार्बन लाइक मिथेन इथेन Methane is a gas, which is which is main constituent of natural gas, compressed natural gas (CNG). So hydrocarbons, when we are talking in class ten topic, this is very important topic. Hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons could be divided in two main parts: saturated hydrocarbons. and unsaturated hydrocarbons so cell work kya kaam karta cell work practice mein kitna kaam karta hai unsaturated hydrocarbon so if you're talking about saturated hydrocarbon this is only alkene is called also alkene but unsaturated hydrocarbons are two types alkenes and alkynes so we will see in detail what are alkenes alkenes are saturated hydrocarbons and also we can see separately we will see alkenes and alkynes okay first let us talk about alkenes a hydrocarbon which is carbon atoms are connected by only single bond is called saturated hydrocarbons and is also called alkenes a carbon compound in which carbon atoms are connected with each other only by single bond only by single covalent bond is known as alkenes alkenes have the general formula general formula of alkenes is cn h2n plus 2 sabje garam kar lena theek rahega thoda हाँ उसको बोल सी एन एच टू एन प्लस टू जनरल फॉर्मूला ऑफ अल्केन इज सी एन एच टू एन प्लस टू सो इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द अल्केन हैविंग वन कार्बन आइटम एन अल्केन हैविंग वन कार्बन आइटम
is C1 H2 that is CH4 methane and again which has one carbon atom is actually CH4 methane so mix meth for one carbon atom and alkane with two carbon atom And again with two carbon atoms C two H six ethane. So if the number N is three then propane. If n is equal to four, then butane. We can write. You are putting here three. We can write here. So C three, and it will be H eight. C three. H three into two six plus two eight. If for butane, if you want to write molecular form, nine is equal to four. We have to put C four H ten. Similarly, and it's equal to five. Then pentane. Xn then pentane C five H twelve then Xn C six H fourteen. So these are the naming of alkanes. Hex, hex means six, pent means five, but means four, prop means three. So similarly, we can create new set of alkane compounds or saturated hydrocarbon compounds. Now let us talk about alkenes. Alkenes are those hydrocarbons Alkenes are alkenes are those hydro carbon compounds Alkenes are those hydrocarbons in which in which at least two carbon atoms are connected by double bond is connected by double carbon bond double bond that is between carbon atoms
double bond between carbon atoms so we can take different example its general formula cn h2 n so if we are writing uh, at least two carbon atoms are required to write in the alkene an alkene has two carbon atoms then it will be called ethene and if we have three carbon atoms then general formula is C three H eight. No, C three H six. That will be an ethene. C four H ten. Very common. Uh, so I call alkenes. So in alkenes. The molecular formula depend on the students, and it has general formula C N H two N. We can write also one point important important. Alkene name is also according to the rule, and rule says having double bond or triple bond between carbon atoms are more reactive than the saturated one, and they are more reactive means carbon atoms in which carbon atom it is connected. That is important. So it has general molecular formula C N H two N. So we can write that could not be methane. It could be ethene, propene. So one single atom one single atom no double bond is possible but two two carbon atoms two carbon atoms the name will be ethene Three carbon compounds, three carbon atoms. Name will be propene.
फोर कार्बन के बॉन्ड्स फोर कार्बन कंपाउंड्स नेम इज ब्यूटीन सो सिमिलरली पेंटीन हेक्सीन वी कैन राइट सो दिस इज ओवरऑल वी कैन से alkenes in alkynes also we have to do the same thing but in case of double bond there will be one triple bond at least one can fame make the form make the name but you must keep the important point naming of alkynes naming of alkenes naming of alkenes so general formula every time we should remember alkenes those carbon compounds those carbon compounds in which two carbon atom is connected only by only by two carbon atoms those carbon atoms those carbon compounds in which two carbon atoms are connected only by triple bond the name accordingly first alkene or alkynes first alkynes Possible can means n is equal to one. Not possible. Second alkyne. Second alkyne could be only. n is equal to 3 third there kon n is equal to 4 third alkyne so how can we can name it n is equal to 1 is not possible are wo hum bol rahe the garwa kaam kar rahe hain n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 so n is equal to 2 it will be ethyne and we can write on the basis of general molecular formula of alkynes actually we are talking about 
alkenes if we are talking and general formula for alkyne if we are talking about general Markov formula CN H2N minus 2 so for 2 carbon n is equal to or n is equal to 3 we can name it C3 H4 3 to the 6 minus 2 4 it will be C3 H4 and what will you name name will be propene propine because it is alkyne if it is n is equal to 2 C2 H2 so what will be there 2 for eth ethine so ethine propine n is equal to 4 butyne so what will be there C4 at 6 similarly we can name it pentine hexine like that so these are our hydrocarbons how we can name it next day we will understand about nomenclature okay students thank you